A Balinese Hindu wedding can afford the Bali visitor a fascinating glimpse into Balinese ceremonies and family life. If you are ever afforded the opportunity to attend one, make sure you do. The wedding will normally be held in the house and garden of the bride's family. Before the ceremony begins, the bride's family organizes the meal, decorates the venue, and prepares for the guests. The bride and groom are painstakingly made up and dressed in their traditional gold swathed outfits. For the bride, that includes a sarong, jewelry, and a spectacular golden headdress that is so large that most brides are nervous when tilting their heads. For the groom, that includes a sarong, a heavy jacket, jewelry, and a kris, a traditional Indonesian knife. Finally, everything is ready and the guests start to arrive. There is no requirement for guests to turn up at any particular time, so they will appear throughout the day, both before and after the actual ceremony. Guests are greeted by family members, offering snacks and drink before being directed to the seating area. Balinese weddings are more informal than a Western marriage, without a formal seating plan, so the guests mingle and mix as do the bride and groom after the ceremony, serenaded by traditional gamelan music. There is a buffet, which if you are not used to Balinese food should be eaten sparingly, but it is rude not to eat anything, that you can eat from at any time. One important aspect for the guest is the gift to the bride and groom. While it is fine to give an appropriate present that the newlyweds will need or like, it is also perfectly acceptable to give money in an envelope. Just as arrival is unstructured, so is departure. Whenever you have seen enough and done your duty to the newlyweds and their family, you can leave whenever you are ready to return to your Bali villa.